The atmosphere in the stadium is amazing. There must be 70 to 80,000 people packed in. Italian flags everywhere. The songs have been singing. The name of Panetta has been flowing down these packed terraces. It really is like a, a major international football match atmosphere. And Panetta is a sporting superstar in this country. And so much pressure on him now to deliver the goods. But in this 15-strong lineup, by no way will Panetta have things all to himself. There are three Italians and three Kenyans in the field. Great Britain's Roger Hackney there in the centre of the picture. And a very, very strong international lineup it is. Kip Kemboy, Coetz, and Patrick Sang, the three Kenyans. The three Italians are Lambroschini, Boffi, and Panetta himself. Boffi it is, the curly head of the uh, three Italians. All three of them, of course, in the national colours of blue vest and white short. And Boffi who leads. Panetta just behind him. And the Kenyans, again, all dressed identically, all in red. Joshua Kip Kemboy is number 654. Peter Koech, number 660. There he is, just in the centre of the picture. And Patrick Sang. John Walker, I know you're really looking forward to this race. Well, I think this is one of the class races of of this game and certainly the time will be very very fast this is more like a, a football crowd rather than an athletics meet and i think this is going to be dominated by the kenyans they're very very strong they come in here with great records over the last olympics commonwealth games but it looks like to me that the italians are going to try and run this as a uh, team's race and of course panetta is the man they really want to win here Boffi leads then, and the blue azuri vests of Italy packed closely together. But also Kip Kemboy, the Kenyan, their national champion, in there to separate them. And the Kenyans will have a very big say in the outcome of this race. Roger Hackney, who did well to get through to the, the final at all, with both our other steeplechasers, uh, Colin Reitz, uh, going out, and... Uh, Eddie Wedderburn also going out, but Roger Hackney really knows he's surrounded here by some of the best in the world. The Kenyans are going to make this very tough for the Europeans because normally it's a traditional type race where everybody just sort of runs along and sprints the last 400 metres. But the Kenyans are up and down. We've already seen it in the 10,000 metres. We've seen it in other races as well with the 800 metres. And I think we're going to see a very, very fast race here with the Kenyans surging up and down pace the whole way. And they're going to make it very, very tough on Panetta. One other man we ought to mention is Melzer, the East German, who's moved through now in the fourth place as Panetta has gone to the front. In the European Cup final in Prague earlier this season, he ran the legs off everyone in the race, but of course he's surrounded by a very classy field here and can't possibly get away from this lot quite so easily. Panetta's more known as a 10,000 metre runner. Of course, he was favoured here to win the 10,000 metres. He's trained extremely hard, and of course, when they run very, very fast, this comes down to a strong man's event. He will be the favourite amongst the Italian crowd, but also in there is a man called Lambaschini, who's run the 1,500 metres this year in 3.35, and if he's very close to these athletes, with 400 metres go, he could be a very powerful danger. Panetta leads for Italy. Kip Kemboy of Kenya in second place. In third, it's Regalo of Portugal. Fourth is Melzer of East Germany. Fifth is Van Dijk of Belgium. Then another of the Italians, the Lambroschini. Panier, the Frenchman, also in the first six. And another of the Kenyans moves through. And they're such indisciplined uh, runners, and particularly hurdlers, uh, John, that uh, when they look at their worst, uh, they're deceptive. Well, they're, no, they're certainly no stylist as far as uh, hurdlers goes, but they don't need to be because they came from 7,000 feet up into the mountains. They've got the strength. Whoops, there's the favourite. One of the favourite Kenyans is down. Kip Kemboy it was who fell. He must have just lost his concentration at a vital moment then. Fell to the track side, and that's one of the big favourites out of it. He's in pain. There was no way he was going to get back into that race. And that makes it easier, a little easier anyway, for Panetta. Well, I think this has given the race to Panetta. It's going to give a lot more confidence to these athletes behind him now because Kip Kemboy was certainly the one the Kenyans have been talking about for weeks. They said there was no way that he could lose this championship. And, of course, now he's out of the competition altogether. So that's very sad for the Chase. 
and Panetta, having possibly realized what happened then, suddenly injected the pace with three laps to go and is now 10 meters up on the rest. Van Dijk is in second place. Well, Panet is a strength man, 10,000 metres, he's run 27, 23 already this year, and I'm afraid for the rest, if they don't get up to him, he's going to run right away for them. Not the most stylish type person, he hasn't run all that many steeplechases, and he took it up relatively at an early age last year, just to try and see what he could do, and of course he ran away with it. He's known as a front runner, he has to run it from the front, there's a lot of men behind him, they're much faster than he is, and if they can stay close, they can beat him, but he will try and run their legs off them. Roger Hackney just finding the pace of this race too hard to handle. He did have a knee injury, I know, which necessitated an operation earlier this season, so uh, it's an achievement for Roger to be here. But back with the leaders. Panetta, to the delight of this stadium, is increasing his lead over Van Dyke, the Belgian, in second place. Melzer of East Germany is third. Then Coet has moved through to fourth. Panier, the Frenchman, fifth. Graham Fell, the Canadian, in sixth place and one of the two Americans, it looks like Brian Deemer, has moved through to seven. Under two to go. Van Dijk was favoured to win the European Championships last year. He came into the Championships with a big record. All the Belgians wanted him to win. He didn't do so. He's got a known reputation for choking in the big Championships. But of course, anything can happen here. And it's a very fast pace indeed. 5.51 with two laps to go. And it's, if he can keep up this pace, and he may or may not do that, he's certainly well under 8.10 schedule. Panetta leads then, Van Dijk second from Belgium, Melzer of East Germany third, Coetch of Kenya is fourth, Deemer of the United States is fifth, then it's Fell of Canada in sixth, and then Sang of Kenya seventh. But you can barely hear yourself talk in this stadium now. They're convinced that Francesco Panetta, who took the silver medal in the 10,000 metres, and the silver medal in the European Championships last year in Stuttgart, is on his way to steeplechase gold. The bell approaches. He's fought hard to get this lead. Van Dijk and Melza clear in the second and third places. Strange showing on his face, and look at the time at the bell. Seven minutes, one. It's extremely fast, and Panetta's got to hang on. He's got 80,000 people cheering him on here. They need a medal that's to make the track games very, very successful. But Van Dijk and Melzer, they're very, very fast. And if they can stay a little closer to him and catch him on the last water jump, they could certainly catch him and beat him. The gap imperceptibly has been reduced. And remember, in this event in 1983, there was a dramatic fall at the final barrier when the American Henry Marsh went down, which apart from anything else enabled Britain's Colin Reach to win a medal. So it's not all over until you've crossed the finish line. And Panetta knows that, and the crowd know that. And he's getting slower, and Van Dyke and Melzer behind him are getting quicker. But surely now, the voices of 80,000 people will lift him along. One barrier to clear. And he's safely over. Melzer has come sprinting through into the silver medal position. Panetta knows he's won it. And the whole of Italy stands and cheers. Panetta gets the gold. Melzer the silver. Van Dijk the bronze. Demo was fourth. Fell fifth. Henry Marsh sixth. And there is the adoring support for Francesco Panetta. And the winning time, 8 minutes, 8.58. A new championship record. And the fourth best time on the all-time list. Well, the crowd, 80,000 people, came here to see him try and win the 10,000 metres only at the beginning of this championship. He failed, he won the silver, and he's come back with great victory and determination today and taking five seconds off his personal best time. A man with courageousness to run from the front, he deserves the win. That's a new Italian and championship record for Panetta and national record for Meltzer, Van Dijk was 